In our show today, we're going to talk about how new innovations in healthcare can help patients worldwide. Hi, I'm Danielle Williams for PremierStocks.tv. The number for diabetes worldwide are staggering. 347 million people worldwide have diabetes, according to the World Health Organization. And right here in the United States alone, there are over 50 million people who have diabetes. And 28.5 million people require daily injections of insulin. There are more than 215,000 children who require up to five injections daily of insulin. We have found a company that helps with the elimination of painful needle injections when drugs are administered to the body, such as vaccines, medications, insulin, and cosmetic drugs such as Botox. Today I want to welcome Dr. Solari, who's the president and CEO of Eternity Healthcare, a company with state-of-the-art technologies focused on a new needle-free injection device for delivery of medication under the skin. Good afternoon, Dr. Solari. Can you tell our audience about Eternity Healthcare? Good afternoon. Eternity Healthcare is a medical device company. The company is introducing to the market a new generation of needle-free injection systems. Basically, this is a system that you can inject anything you want without using needles. We are manufacturing with our manufacturing partner in Korea, and we are marketing uh, globally. Now, I have read about the Comfort In needle-free injection system. Can you tell me about your technology? Yes, our technology uh, has a few different advantages over the existing ones. Firstly, the, the technology or the product is very small, robust, and is designed to be used by uh, patients, by end users, rather than other products out there which has to be used by professionals. Other advantages include our product is driven mechanically, so it's a spring-loaded uh, device. Therefore, there is no danger, there is no chance of explosion versus other products on the market which uses gas or power. And, and thirdly, the syringes that our product use or plastic, so they are disposable. Therefore, you use it, you throw it away. They are extremely costly versus other products and safe to throw away. So tell me, Dr. Solari, who can use the Comfort In product and is it safe for children? Yes, anybody can use the Comfort In product. It's designed for end users. The it's safe for the children, but indeed the parents have to use it because the children, they don't know how to use it. But yes, it is safe for children. In fact, the whole reason behind development of such a product was uh, to, um, to make something friendly for the children. Now, I've read in your materials that you have approval in Europe and Canada. Can you tell us where else the product is approved? And where are you in the FDA trials? The product is approved in Europe by European Union. So practically can be sold in all the uh, European Union members, the 27 country members. It has also been approved in Canada, as you mentioned. It's also been approved in Australia, in Korea, uh, and in, uh, in the United States, we have applied uh, to the FDA and we received some favorable comments, but FDA required further uh, clarification, which uh, the company uh, with our manufacturing partner, we will providing those information and uh, detail needed. Uh, so we are hoping the product will be approved by FDA uh, around uh, May or June of this year. Now I'm sure there are a lot of interested people out there. So if someone wants to buy your products, where can they buy it right now? Presently the product is sold on, on our website. So if someone go on our website, eternityhealthcare.com and it shows there's a tab for buy now and just follow the purchase. And we think uh, in a couple of months we will make a deal with some major uh, uh, retail stores and pharmacies. 
So what are your plans for distribution into pharmacies once the product is approved right here in the U.S.? The plan is uh, to engage some uh, consulting uh, group who have uh, know-how uh, to approach uh, the pharmacies like Walgreens or Costco, uh, even Walmart and, uh, and you name it, and make a deal with them. I think this is a very important question. Now, can this product be used to help minimize the spread of disease through the sharing of needles? Yes, certainly. I mean, this product, it does whatever needles do, except there is no needle. So it's very safe. Uh, there is no chance of uh, accidental poking. There is no chance of uh, getting uh, contamination from one person who's infected with HIV or hepatitis. Uh, nobody can use it, this product. Only one person can use, and that's it. Let's talk about the company's future plans. Can you tell me about the expansion for this product? Our future plan is uh, basically to be present in every major market, in every uh, country around the world. And um, that takes time, but that's our goal. Right now, do you have any competitors? And if so, who are they? We do have few competitors, um, but uh, as I mentioned, some of them, they, their product is driven by gas, so it's not easy for consumer to use. Uh, some of them, they uh, use a very sophisticated uh, system, which has to be used by professionals, clinics, and so on. Um, so um, there are few, uh, but this is the one which can be used directly by end users, by consumers, and is easy to operate. I'm expecting that your company is going to do well. So where do you see this company in three years? I see the company in three years to be grown up, to be much, much stronger, even to have some of our own uh, line of medicine, which has been filled in our needle-free injection sy uh, system. Uh, in our uh, needle-free syringes, uh, our goal is to have insulin, uh, human growth hormone, uh, local anesthetics, uh, vitamin B12, all of ours. Dr. Solari, tell me, where can we get more information about investment in Eternity Healthcare? Yes, Eternity Healthcare is a public company. So there are filings with the SEC. But there is also quite a, a loss of information on our website. So if someone goes on eternityhealthcare.com, can get uh, information. Additional information could be obtained by calling. And uh, if they check our uh, stock symbol, which takes them to the, all the filings, they can get the information needed. Can you now show our audience how to use the Comfort and Needleless system? Yes, I will be happy to show you. Okay, let me show you how to use the system. When you receive it, you get a box like that. First you open it. You remove the seal, you open it. There is an instruction here how to use it for the insulin. But anyway, you open it and you take this bag out, like that. There are two units here, these two. This is an injector, this is a loader. This one you use to load the injector. So if you look inside, you will see there is a, a stainless steel shaft. And what you need to do you hold this one in here, like against this. There is a, the back of the head just has to touch or goes between these two bars here. Then you put this plunger, this plunger inside this, the mouth of this injector, like that. And you crank it to push the spring back, like that. If you need further pressure, you can open this, but most often you don't need to open it. So anyway, you push back the spring here with the force which went through this plunger. Now you take this one off, 
You put it in here. Now, because you pushed back the spring, now you can adjust the amount you need. So there are numbers here, says 0, 20, 30, which each number correspond to the units in insulin. So 10 here means 10 units. But at the same time, if you're using some other products, such as vitamins or um, anesthetics or human growth hormone or something else, 10 correspond to 0.1 milliliter or, or 0.1 cc. So you turn this, you can easily turn it back and forth to adjust to get the number you want. There is an arrow here, which should be right on the top of the number line in here. Okay, so now this is ready, you put it down, then you open one of the little bags for the syringes. Syringes are like that. They come individually or they come in a pack of five. So you open it, these are sterile already. So when you take it out, push down a little bit to break the seal and push back to get some air. So this is also now ready. You put it down, then you open a, a pouch to get the adapter. This is your adapter. This, you open it, it's like that, you bring it out, and you push it through the rubber on the top of the bottle of medicine or insulin. Bottles could be bigger or wider, but most often the head is the same size, so this adapter can be used. But if the head is larger, there is another adapter, the bigger adapter, which we supply. You can use that. So you push this adapter in the, into the rubber. So the middle, there is a uh, plastic, sharp plastic. You push it down like that. So then it goes and sit nicely in here tight. You remove the cap from the top of the adapter. Everything is sterile. And you take your syringe or nozzle, you push it inside and you turn it. So it basically, quarter of turn, it tighten or sit tight with the adapter. Put some air inside, then upside down like this. Hold it upside down and pull back slowly. And you see the liquid is going down. So insulin, whatever. If you see it's not going fast, it means the rubber of the bottle is pushing against the hole of the adapter. So move it around a little bit, then it releases. So therefore, you pull back, you get whatever amount you need, then you put it upside like that, you remove this, put the cap back, and this goes in the fridge, cold. It will be used many times until all the medicine is finished. When all the medicine is finished, you throw away the bottle and you throw away the adapter. Don't use one adapter after finished for another bottle, no. Just throw it away. They are not expensive. So now you got your medicine here. Imagine it's insulin or it is local anesthetics or whatever. You flip it like that to get rid of the air. Push the air out if there is any air. Push the air out. And then you put this one in here and you screw this nozzle or syringe to the top of the injector. So you turn it, turn it like that, okay? So if the 20 units here you have, here should be 20 as well. So the same numbers, okay? If he's not, you lose a little bit. And once you got it screwed tight, then you can put it against your belly here. Put it against the skin firmly, but do not push it too hard. So you can push it in here, or on your skin in here, push it firmly, or whatever you need. 
here again firmly but not too hard most insulin users they use belly so anywhere around the belly you like you can put it and then when you hold it tightly it has to be 90 degrees so you know try to be straight and then you press this this is your triggering mechanism or this is your triggering system so when you press this and this is your holding it against your skin you hear click and all the fluid in here all the medicine will go to your body hold it against your skin after you release the injector or the trigger after you trigger in a millisecond all the fluids go to your body hold it for another few seconds don't immediately remove it hold it for a few seconds and then you remove it so that's it and you get all the drug in your body so you can repeat as many times as you want we do not recommend this to be used more than three times we do not so throw it away and pick up the new one Dr. Solari, I want to thank you so much, and I think our viewers will agree. This was an amazing interview. Learning more about your innovative needless drug delivery system, Comfort In. For more information about the company, just simply go to eternityhealthcare.com and look up their stock symbol, ETAH. Thanks for watching. I'm Danielle Williams for PremierStocks.tv.